hello students today we will learn that how a free piston engine works i will tell you the working of free piston engine by the help of its principal mechanism however the design can be of any type but on what principle it works that i will try to make you understand easily by the help of the principal mechanism of the free piston engine see remember first of all that a free piston engine is in principle a two stroke engine which is having no crankshaft remember however for in any engine there is always a crankshaft so whatever power is developed over the piston is ultimately delivered to the crankshaft but free piston engine is a sort of two stroke engine having no crankshaft now how work is done then means how what is the utility of this engine in case there is no crankshaft what is the utility the utility is that the power is obtained by expanding the exhaust gases coming out of the two stroke engine in a gas turbine okay so once again that free piston engine is principally basically a two stroke engine which is having no crankshaft and the power is obtained by whatever exhaust gases are coming out of the two stroke stroke engine and those exhaust gases are expanded in a turbine so let's understand how it works first of all we will learn that uh, what are the basic components of free piston engine this is the principal diagram it consists of a bounce cylinder as i am showing by the help of arrow this is bounce cylinder which is having a piston with it so bounce cylinder is nothing but it consists some air trapped in between the piston and this piston and the cylinder so in case that air is compressed by the piston then it stores the energy whatever energy is given by piston to the air it stores the energy in form of pressure energy of air because this bounce cylinder contains air so in case air is press is pressed inside so it acts as a spring so it stores whatever energy is delivered by this bounce cylinder piston to the air so once again i would like to tell that this is the bounce cylinder and this is the piston of bounce cylinder so this piston can compress the air which is trapped between the bounce cylinder and the piston so in case the work is done over the air so whatever energy is supplied by this piston to that air it is stored in form of pressure energy of air now this is another piston this is the uh, see if you divide this entire system in two parts then one is this right hand side is the bounce cylinder part and this left hand side is actually the two stroke engine this is the gas turbine which runs by the help of exhaust of two stroke engine so by the help of arrow i am showing the boundary that this system is actually the uh, two stroke engine and this system is the bounce cylinder so it consists of two main parts one is the bounce cylinder other is a two stroke engine now this is the piston of two stroke engine and we know this thing that in two stroke engine there are ports so this is the inlet port of two stroke engine this is the exhaust port and there is a spark plug you can see and what happens that the connecting rod of this piston is connected to the piston of this bounce cylinder this piston is the piston of two stroke engine but the connecting rod of this piston is connected to the bounce cylinder piston so in case this piston moves to and fro means right and left then as the piston executes motion to and fro the same motion will be executed by this bounce cylinder piston also this piston is meant for two stroke engine side and this piston is meant for bounce cylinder side okay now this is by the help of arrow i am showing this valve is a non return valve which is ultimately connected to a duct that duct is ultimately connected to a carburetor so what is the job of carburetor carburetor makes the mixture of air and fuel and of course in case we are uh, talking about petrol engine then fuel is petrol in that case okay now this duct you can see this uh, this inlet port is connected by the help of duct behind this piston you can see that this is the entire cylinder this is the piston the behind this piston this inlet port is connected by the help of duct and this system is closed system means the piston is connected to this connecting rod and to this bounce cylinder piston but it move it moves inside this cylinder to and fro but this system is perfectly sealed Be, uh, i am showing by the help of arrow no air or fluid can pass out or leak out from this two stroke engine side system toward the 
outer environment it is like this so once i will tell you how it operates you will easily understand okay now imagine that this bounce cylinder is having some pressurized air inside it this i am showing that pressurized air by the help of this red color and toward this two stroke engine piston over its face inside this cylinder or combustion chamber there is some air fuel mixture so once again imagine that initially i was just showing the diagram the principal diagram now imagine this bounce cylinder piston is containing some pressurized air with it and toward the left hand side of this piston of this two stroke engine there is some charge it is like this so pressurized air and charge so in case over here in the bounce cylinder there is pressurized air so what it will do it will push this piston or not this bounce cylinder piston will be pushed toward left hand side so what will happen when it will pushed toward left hand side then this piston will compress the charge inside the cylinder or not yes see initially what was the case the bounce cylinder was containing pressurized air and toward the left hand side of piston there is charge okay now in case this piston is allowed to move then this pressurized air of bounce cylinder will make it to push toward the left hand side so whatever charge is contained over this left hand side cylinder that is the combustion chamber will be compressed by this piston but one thing more will happen since this piston is moving toward left hand side so what it is doing since this piston is moving toward left hand side so what it is doing when it is moving toward left hand side at the same time it is creating a vacuum behind you can see over th this system uh, the system behind this piston will have vacuum because here the volume is increasing here the volume is decreasing but here the volume is increasing so the system volume is increasing so a vacuum will be created so what will happen this is a non return valve okay so it will open inside and from the carburetor some amount of charge will enter behind this piston of two stroke engine so it is like this you can see this uh, valve has lift up and some charge is sucked inside behind this two stroke engine piston and toward the left hand side whatever charge contained previously is compressed now when it is fully compressed a spark is introduced by this spark plug this blue colored spark now what will happen this entire air fuel mixture will be ignited so what will happen now here the pressure is raised okay so it will push the piston toward right hand side now okay so what will happen now the piston will move toward right hand side so when it is moving you can see so when it is moving toward right hand side what will happen see this valve is a non return valve so when the piston is moving side of this two stroke engine piston there is fresh charge okay and bounce cylinder is containing pressurized air so again this bounce cylinder piston will push this piston toward left hand side again it will be compressed okay then again uh, uh, spark is developed in the spark plug this fuel will ignite again piston and one one thing that when the bounce cylinder piston is pushing this piston then at the same time behind this two stroke engine piston the charge is sucked inside from uh, from this carburetor through this non return valve and when it is moving toward right hand side spark see spark is developed and this piston is pushed pushed toward right hand side again the charge behind this piston is compressing it is having only one way Uh, through which it can go out that is through this inlet port via this transfer duct but piston itself is acting as a blockage this compressing charge behind this piston is only having one way to escape that is through this transfer duct through this inlet port but what we can see that piston itself is a sort of blockage in this trans uh, inlet port or not yes see whatever charge is compressed behind this piston can come out through this inlet port which is connected by a transfer port because this non return valve doesn't doesn't allows the charge to go back but this piston itself is closing this inlet port as well as this exhaust port it like this now what will happen with further expansion of these burned gases which is uh, which are over the left hand side of this piston 
Ultimately, when piston removes itself between the way of outlet port and inlet port, what will happen? Two things will happen simultaneously. Those are whatever the burnt gases over here are will go out from this outlet port and reach to this gas turbine. So since these gases are still hot, so these hot gases will expand in this gas turbine. So work is developed in the gas turbine. Second thing is since from the inlet port piston has been piston has removed itself so this pressurized charge which is contained behind this piston will get its way to enter inside the cylinder so two things are ha happening simultaneously those are the exhaust gases are going out through this outlet port reaching a gas turbine and whatever the uh, fresh charge is there which is compressed behind this piston will get its way open inside this combustion chamber and the third thing is bound cylinder air is now fully compressed means whatever energy uh, is delivered by this piston to this bound cylinder piston is converted into pressure energy of air now again the system has reached to its initial state that is the bound cylinder is containing pressurized air and over the left hand side of this two stroke engine piston there is fresh charge so what will happen this bound cylinder compressed air will push this piston of bound cylinder toward uh, left hand side so whatever charge is contained inside this combustion chamber will be compressed by this piston and at the same time from this non return wall through this carburetor fresh charge is sucked behind this two stroke engine piston so ultimately spark is introduced in this combustion chamber so this fuel will ignite it will again push the piston to our right hand side at the same time behind this two stroke engine piston whatever charge is sucked inside since this is non return wall will start compressing as well as whatever energy which is supplied to this two stroke engine piston is also supplied to this bound cylinder piston so when the piston is moving to our right hand side then it is compressing the charge is contained behind this piston of two stroke engine as well as the air contained inside the bound cylinder is also compressing by the help of the piston of bound cylinder so whatever charge which is behind this two stroke engine piston is having only one way to go out that is through this inlet port inside this combustion chamber and via this transfer duct so ultimately the same condition will come that piston will remove itself from the way of inlet port whatever fresh charge is there will go inside and the burnt gas will come outside through this outlet port it will in turn uh, run a gas turbine so like this the cycle complete so what we see over here that actually whatever work is done over the piston uh, that work is transferred to compress the air of bound cylinder so actual energy for utilization is developed in a gas turbine and by the help of what by the help of whatever exhaust gas coming out from this two stroke engine cylinder so hope you would have understood what is a free piston engine remember free piston engine is principally a two stroke engine which is having no crankshaft and we want power from engine so how that power is obtained since there is no crankshaft whatever the exhaust gas is coming out from the two stroke engine those are expanded in a gas turbine to get power thank you